I've heard of Project TARP. I don't really know that much. It's designed to uh, electrify the ionosphere, and they will be able to map all the underground bases. Uh, there was a crash of a uh, uh, Air Force uh, plane up in Alaska last week, and uh, AWAC plane. Yeah. And it was on the last day of a right. uh, Project TARP uh, demonstration. Okay. Yes, I've heard of such projects. Uh, actually, it was invented by Nikola Tesla, the initial part of ionizing the atmosphere. The only trouble is with ionizing the atmosphere, plants, plants need nightfall as well as sunlight to survive. So lighting up the atmosphere might do extreme damage. Okay, next question. This gentleman up in the front row. Please speak up. Thank you uh, for taking the question. My question I'd like to ask is this. If the aliens have a 1,200 IQ, can speak all these languages and are so powerful, what prevents them from just taking over? Well, that's a good question. <clears throat> Basically, they have taken over. All that's left is a bunch of screaming, all a bunch of us that have been very complacent. Uh, half of the 131 under, deep underground military bases are basic cities for them. Right underneath our feet is a macabre site indeed. You can bet your bottom dollar they've already basically won the war. However, they're being an alien species. We are an alien species to them, and our germs have a tendency to kill them. <clears throat> they're also a dying race, and they're in far worse condition than anybody with the worst case of terminal cancer. They are in need of us to some degree. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, I heard a man speaking about the same things you have been speaking about down in Australia named Stan Dio. Do you know that man? Stan Dio? Yes, I've heard of him, but I don't know of him. Are you aware of this asteroid headed toward the Earth? That's yes, Nemesis is uh, called Nemesis. It's a brown star. It's probably hollow. It's maybe not a star at all. It has a specific gravity of a little less than 2, 1.718 or something like that, which means it's extremely hollow and light. It has a mass of 10 times the size of Jupiter. It is so massive, it's dragging comets and, and meteoritic material with it and space garbage and debris. It's dragging it at such a rate. Just the debris encircling our solar system enough to destroy half the planets of it. So, yeah, it'll be a threat. It's headed for us right now. Supposedly it'll be here in 2052. Nobody knows for certain. Or it'll be within closeness of the Earth. Within 500 million miles, which is plenty close indeed. Okay, a few more questions. i got to wrap it up here. This this lady here? No. You have to use the microphone. Nobody can hear you. Do you correlate the foreign forces with uh, the Soviets? The Soviet forces, the foreign forces, uh, all of us have an alien war going on. The Red Chinese right now are getting it in full brunt. The Russians are shooting down per province. There are about nine provinces in their motherland. Uh, they're shooting down at the rate of 50 of these saucers per month and ships. They're heaping piles of them in outer Mongolia, mountains of them. They just tow them out there and let them sit out there. Yeah. You please use the microphone. Nobody can hear you. Does the uh, alien agenda dictate the agenda of the go of the world globalists right now? The people that want world government. Are yes, they do in the, in in total and in entirety. Are and are they may even be in charge. And are some of our uh, uh, high-level officials, perhaps from the president on down, are they aware of this? Yes, they are. They're all aware of it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. 
What is the name of your book and when will it be out? Well, I have several several names of the book. Basically, I, I'm calling myself Government Secrets Revealed, Government Secrets Revealed, and uh, please don't handle a picture. I've asked, please, not to you look at the artifacts, but don't handle them. Okay. And the Government Secrets Revealed uh, should be out within two to three weeks at the outset. Yes, sir. Where can you get get this book? Where will uh, it be out? I'll have it. I'll have it in a brochure. I can't tell you right now. Uh, yes, sir. The person behind you, and then the person behind that, and that'll be the. Okay, uh, Phil. Question. I want to say thank you and God bless you for what you're doing. It takes a big man like you to do it, man. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to uh, emphasize here, I'll make it real quick, is that uh, can what can we as humanoids do to? Uh, we're not humanoids, we're humans. Humans, all right. Well, anyway, what can we do to uh, stop this? By doing exactly what we're doing right now. I mean, gathering? We're gathering, listening, and what I'm doing, getting out in the public and talking about it. Okay, uh, also, no, I, I don't fear ridicule. If someone wants to call me a brand X nut, hmm, well, I can't reach that person. I'm sorry for him. Yeah. Uh, I'm well aware of what's going on with the Area 51, and uh, I know that uh, we're capable of going into the future right now and coming back. Can you please just... use the microphone, or is the microphone going dead down there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm well aware that our country is capable of going into the future right now and coming back through uh, uh, the, uh, the Please technology. make this short. What is your question, sir? Um, what? How far can we go into uh, knowing what's happening with the aliens in Area 51? How far? I mean, how far can we get into the knowledge of this? We're already full-fledged into the knowledge of this right now. How far can we go? We can go a lot further. Uh, we have to defeat the alien threat. Otherwise, we have no chance at all. There won't be a new world order either. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Let's take this last gentleman here. Did the United States government uh, intentionally uh, enter into an agreement with the aliens back in 1940? Uh, well, let's 1954. see. 1954. 1954. Yes, is they intentionally. Finished? They knew full well what their capacity was. They intentionally did so, supposedly on the premise that they were buying time to get arranged, and this wasn't true. This was a lie, dished out to the public and the people in the know at the time. Uh, all the MJ members, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it, it did buy time, but at great cost. As we speak, as I'm speaking, rather, uh, about six million to seven million human beings have been slaughtered by the aliens at present time, unaccounted for. And of course, there's a, a thousand lies to say where they went or where they didn't go. Okay. I'm telling you right now that the lies and innuendo not only have to stop, if we don't believe in them anymore, they're going to right. stop, guaranteed. One, okay. one final question. Um, the the so-called Ascension Movement... You know nothing of, of it. Is, I don't make You know story. nothing of it. Nothing of okay. it. Okay. Thanks. Can't hear you. Cannot hear you. <laughs> If some of you are short and can't get up and see the artifacts, I'll try and explain them. Uh, but I ask you once again, please don't handle them. and mechanizations of our federal government structure that I feel directly imperiled not to tell anybody about, so that's why I'm here telling you. In doing so, I am breaking my security oaths. I am also guilty of breaking major federal law. How, I, how long I'll be able to do this, anybody's guess. However, I would like to mention this talk is going to be broken up into four main topics. And, uh, 
each of these topics will have some bearing on what you people are involved in, you patriot people, or even some of you people that aren't patriots that may be leaning in that way or considering it. I want you to know these United States are a beautiful place. I've traveled in over 70 countries, and I cannot remember any country that has the beauty as well as the magnificence of its people like these United States. Uh, give you an overview of basically what I am. Uh, I started off with went through engineering school, which half of my schooling was in the field. I built up a reputation for being a geological engineer as well as a structural engineer with with both military and aerospace applications. I have helped build two main concern bases within these United States that have some significance as far as what is it called the New World Order. Number one is Dulce, New Mexico. I was involved in 1979 in a horrendous firefight with alien human, alien human type, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I was one of the survivors. I'm probably the only talking survivor you'll ever hear. Two other survivors are under close guard somewhere in these United States. One is not in very good shape. He's been living in uh, Canada. So I'm about the only one around that knows the firefight, that knows all the detailed files of the entire operation. 66 Secret Service agents, FBI and the like, Black Berets died in that firefight. I was there. Number one, part of what I'm going to tell you is going to be very shocking. Part of what I'm going to tell you is probably going to be very unbelievable. So, if instead of putting on your glasses, I'll ask you to put your skepticals on rather than your spectacles. <laughs> but please feel free to do your own homework. I know the Freedom of Information Act isn't much to go on, but unfortunately it's basically the best we've got. Uh, your local law library and your nearest law university is a good place to look for congressional records. So if one continues to do their homework, um, and one can be standing vigilant in regards to their country. I love the country that I'm living in more than I love my life. I would not be standing before you right now risking my life by telling you these things if I didn't believe it so. The first part of this talk is going to concern deep underground military bases and the black budget. Let me first start by emphasizing the black budget. The black budget is a secretive group, basically a secret budget. It garners one quarter of the gross national product, the entire gross national product of these United States present the gross national products around five trillion dollars so one quarter of that's about one one and a quarter trillion dollars per year uh, at least 1.023 trillion and I say at least is used in black budget programs like deep underground military bases <coughs> presently there are 129 deep underground military bases in these United States <coughs> Is this our? No, this one doesn't work. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This one's too tall. Anyway, of these 129 bases, they've been building them day and night unceasingly for since the early 40s. Some of them were built even earlier than that. Uh, these bases composed, comprise, these bases, me, these bases comprise basically of large cities underground. They're connected by high-speed monorail magnetoleviton trains that can go up to Mach 2. Uh, books have been uh, several books recently have been written about this activity, all of which is verifiable through bibliography 